Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to provide you a new support regarding FTP server. We will show you how to make a Windows computer as FTP server. So let's do it and we need to change some URLs. Just we have to click or double click on control panel and then we will get few options from this of click on programs and features then after it click on turn windows features on or off and then we will have few more options here expand it and just find out internet information services and then click on it then click on plus sign then ftp server then click on plus sign again and then check this too then simply click on ok so it will take a uh, few more seconds or few more minutes maybe so whenever you will restart this one then this service will be enabled so after restarting we will go through the another process let's go after restarting your computer let's go to the control panel again and then find out administrative tools here you will get internet information services that we have enabled so just double click on it and then you can see you now you are you are able to create your own ftp server so you have to create few more things or you have to change somewhere else just uh, right click on this pc then click on manage and then go here local users and groups click on groups then right click on it new group then create a group like ftp then click on create then close and then go to the users now you have to create a new user though we can uh, add this or any user from here to the group test then create okay now set a password for test I'm providing a password to my user that I have created already then click on OK and then go to the groups again and then right click on FTP then click on properties and then click on add now type the name or the username that you have created test then click on check names then you can see it has been checked up and click on ok now click on apply and then ok all done now create a file here or if we do add this file in our FTP server then we can but if we would love to share any other things then we can share from here or from anywhere for FTP and then simply right click on it then properties then go to the sharing advanced sharing then click on share this folder then click on permissions then click on add and then test that we have created the name or the user so click on ok and then give full permission to the file then click on apply and then ok then apply and then ok and now share this folder it should be test add then click on read write permission so you can give or you can provide only read permission or write permission it's up to you but for testing purpose we are providing this two at a time just click on share and then this folder has been shared and now click on close we may see or we may enter here again ISS you can search from here or you can go to this item from administrative tools or templates just expand it then right click on site 
and then click on add FTP site and then here you can see FTP site name we may provide the name we want no problem okay then click on three dots to show your path and then go to the desktop because we would love to share anything for our betterment for our understanding this folder from desktop then click on ok and then click on next so all you need to look here you can click on this drop down menu then you can select the IP address that you do have and you can also go through or you can keep it as it is selected no problem here so we are going to select the IP address so that it can um, be saved or anywhere from anywhere it can be accessed then click on no SSL as we don't have any SSL certificate at this moment but you can add it whenever you will have then click on next now you need to change here authentication type just click on basic then go to the authorization allow access to specified user or you can tell a specified roles or user groups as we have created a group for the users or we have created an user groups so just simply click on specified roles or users group just or we can select all users then we will give a redirect permission again just simply click on finish now all we can see our IP addresses let's type CMD and then IP config then enter so our IP address is on 72 on 68.173 just copy this IP address and then open your browser Internet Explorer then type FTP FTP then paste your IP address and click on enter now you can see that a prompt has been uh, coming up to you and you have to provide your username and password so our username was test and password was given by me let's provide the password one two three enter now you can see that we have got our FTP server in our Windows computer or and if you change anything here or if you create any uh, folder or anything like uh, we are going to create a uh, file or an Excel worksheet just uh, name it with FTP or anything and few more things we can add Microsoft Word document and then new text document so whatever we are changing here we can get all those from here so after refreshing you can get it and you can open it okay and you can save it from here and all you need to um, take into your mind that if you would love to get full access from anywhere in the world then you must need to get a public IP from your ISP or from someone whom from where you have got your internet connectivity otherwise this IP address won't work from all over the world as we can enter or we can access get access to some uh, FTP servers so to get access in your FTP server from any corner of the world you must need to get an IP address which will be public thank you so very much for watching this video and if there is any question regarding FTP server and if there is any problem to finish all these activities that we have done and I have shown you here then feel free to email me 